Crusader Lord, or Arabian Lord. Which one is the better Lord for the player? The Lords themselves have the exact same health points and damage, so in terms of raw strength they are all the same. But what is different for each Lord, is the type, and the amount of starting troops they get at the beginning of each skirmish match. The Crusader Lords get European units, while the Arabian Lords would get Arabian units. The bots have their own units though, which will be a video for another time. The game setting will determine how many units, and what type of units each player would get at the start of the match. Crusader Lords would get European archers and spearmen on normal and death match settings. And on Crusader game settings, they would get archers, swordsmen, and a few knights as their starting units. The Arabian Lord would get Arabian archers, and some slaves on normal and death match games. And on Crusader matches, they would get a lot of Arabian archers, and some Arabian swordsmen. The amount of units you get is based on your player advantage, which is also determined at the game settings screen. And here's what you've been waiting for. These are how many starting units you get depending on your advantage and chosen lord. And what you're seeing right now is for normal and death match games. And this is for crusader games, feel free to pause and watch the numbers if you need to. But as you can see the Arabian archer you get is really ridiculous. The Arabian lord actually gets more ranged units than the crusader lord, even though Arabian archers are so much better than European archers. I know the trade-off is supposed to be the melee units, but honestly I would still take more Arabian archers any day. Even though knights can be amazing in the early game, and Arabian swordsmen kinda suck, I still think Arabian Lord is a much better choice just because of that. So here's your answer, take Arabian Lord if you're looking for an advantage, and dominate early game with the extra firepower.